Then step three is formulating the research objectives. Okay, so now the researcher must formulate a series of objectives. These objectives work towards addressing the problem statement. They help the researcher uncover the problem. They also serve as criteria against which the to assess the relevance of the questionnaire. Is the questionnaire successfully helping us achieve our objectives so that we can answer, solve our problem statement? Okay, so here's an example of a research objective. Determining the reason for the declining sales in the canteen. Okay, so we want to determine that. Our problem is declining sales, but part of our research objectives is to find out why. Okay, so in the canteen example, after completing the situation analysis, the researcher will compile a list of data, what is needed in order to meet the research objectives. In order to assess the sales decline in the company canteen. That's Remember, that's the objective. Then the, the person will decide on the type of information that's required to make that decision. Usually they'll start with secondary data that can be found in the company database. This is that information that has been collected previously. Okay, and they'll go into their archives and on their computers and check for information. Usually it'll be sales data and purchasing data and customer satisfaction data and things like that that they've already collected. It'll help them refine the objectives and refine the problem statement, understand the situation better. Okay, then we get to the research proposal. Once the researcher has collected a few of these things, um, developed a problem statement and gone through a situation analysis and so forth, and developed the objectives, they will create a research proposal. So, they have to develop a written document, and it's done with a research proposal. It ensures that the marketing manager and the research agree on everything that needs to be done. It serves as a guideline for implementing the research, it helps to prevent misunderstandings, and there is a very good proposal framework in your textbooks. Have a look.